I asked everyone on my Twitter for demos to review level 5 to 8 players. I got a lot of replies and there was a lot of interest. If this video does well, I will be doing this more frequently and pick out a random subscriber on YouTube that I will watch demo of. So make sure to subscribe. The lucky guy this time around was ICS. So let's go ahead and have a look. Let's have a look at ICS here. I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly, but I already like the guy. He buys smoke kit here. He's a team player. He's playing fire. He's a bit alone here, to be honest. He should play CT and just play... If they come A, he will just fall back and the guys can come CT with him and he can smoke bomb and defuse while they're fighting. But obviously, he ends up in the same kind of situation. It's good that he's staying alive here. But his teammates are dying, so this is pretty rough. And now his smoke kit becomes a bit useless, let's be honest. So that's rough, but obviously he should not rotate at all unless you kind of know for sure it's B and the bomb is spotted B. Else he should just wait A, especially when he's alone A. Let's see here in first weapon round. Yeah, that's... That's a pretty bad smoke, my friend. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> if you should smoke... I guess, like, this was pretty nice shot, to be honest. But the smoke is very bad. I think it's good to smoke up ramp in the beginning. Especially if your teammates are, like, fighting mid. But you gotta do it good. Already you can see that you have a bit of work to do with your utility. Playing fire. Obviously, they can be mid now. You have no one. And that's why you kind of need to get a new position at this point. If... If your mates are not really holding con or short and you can die from there, you have to go shadow or even go close ramp, get a flash from a teammate or something similar. You can't stay fire. And that's, I think in general, if I would watch a lot of these demos from level 4s, I guess it's a lot about understanding positioning and then utility utility is quite easy to learn right you just gotta put in the work one example could be okay that's pretty sick not bad decent aim that was a nice shot but i think in general what you have to do is use some time on your utility let's see the next weapon round here fail jump to the default it's okay it's okay that's also quite easy to learn once you get a feeling for it. Molotov ramp in the beginning is pretty good. And your teammates are now fighting mid. So what is your choice? You stay default. Then this is a okay position I would say. Obviously if he's up ramp here. I think you will die if you're peeking like this. And yeah. That was unfortunate. Honestly. Pretty good shot by him. That angle can be pretty good for this for you i would say if he comes out palace but if he walks up ramp and you just peek it can be pretty rough you have a deagle here wanna get in and do the same shot as before good jiggle good that you just leave it alone here smoke deep ramp you hear the avp your teammate flashes you right in the head not bad not bad but lucky i think here it's a 3v3 you made a stairs. I think it's pretty good to push push for info ramp here and get a position where you cannot die from everywhere. So that's I think until now this is pretty good. You have a good position, but here you can die from a lot of places and he obviously spots you. Nice shot. Not bad. Your aim honestly is not uh it's it's pretty decent. So I think most important right now to focus on is positioning and your utility as far as i see now the smoke is obviously not too great either there's gonna be a big gap i think uh, one thing you can do is that if you want to smoke up ramp you can just molo ramp here and put a smoke directly into the molo so there's no gaps just make sure that it's like in the middle if it's on purpose that you want this gap, I think it will not really favor uh, M4. If you had AVP and did this trick, I think it would be pretty good. But I don't think with M4 and all these times you could have died going like sandwich and so forth. So I think uh, it would be better to smoke direct unless you have AVP. 2v3 here. Pretty decent. You hear them ramp. 
Yeah, so here you get obviously afraid of someone coming ramp and that can happen. It's easy when we can see here where they will come, but you probably faster have to make a decision on where you want to go and what you want to hold. You could go shadow, you could go high tier. Like when you were here, you could not really die from con, so you shouldn't get afraid of it. That default jump is not with you today. You're playing shadow here. You smoked ramp. I don't know if it's a bad smoke again. Yeah, it is. So here you again kind of give it sees a chance to go up and use it against you. Unlucky. I think especially when you have teammates so close to you and uh, you don't have to take an all-in duel. You have teammates who can flash for you and who can help you fast. So playing like Shadow or playing a place where you can get help and you guys can kill them together would be much better. And I think in general it's gonna be hard to hit the deagle shot. Again, I think it could be good to go. For example, Shadow, Hide, you have teammates who can bait for you. And now, it's time for the AVP. If nothing is working, just buy AVP. I don't know if you get flash over from A, but in general to everyone here, just always, if you wanna peek window, get flash from A so the guys or the T's when they run out mid, they will get blind. Here you rotate to short, which can be pretty good. You have showed yourself in window. Your mate is connector here. Yeah. It's hard when he can go both sides there. You kind of have to just go with one of them in, in this situation, I feel like. And in general, right eye peak is best, so you should crouch right eye and just peek him right side. And if you really have a feeling he's going left, then you just risk it and only hold left. But if you confuse yourself, it's a lot more likely that you will just lose the duel. You like this palace peak, but I understand that you had success with it earlier. And here you get full control of Palace, which is pretty good here. Unfortunately, your teammates are dying. But it's still a 3-3 here. You still just hold Palace, which is good. You panic a bit here. Because you're afraid they will see you. When you hear the scope... What is this guy doing? Why is... It... They just forgot that you are there or what? What is going on? Are they trolling? They just saw you. That's some interesting stuff. They just thought you became invisible or something. Again here, instead of this, just smoke directly on the Molo. In general, this will favor the T and if you play any position like default or shadow after you did the smoke, they will have an advantage going up here because they will feel good while they're going up next round here. Kinda taking a similar position. The problem here, right, is that you actually don't have any teammates holding ramp. So one guy could literally just walk up ramp and kill your palace. And this will, of course, also make you... I guess if you are there, you will also think like, okay, no one is holding ramp. And that will make you insecure in your position. Because you will begin to think about ramp while you are taking this duel. So the chance of you winning this duel will get a lot less... Uh, so I would recommend always to have a guy holding ramp if you want to stay in any of these positions. Obviously, I'm not sure like how good these positions where you are taking direct fights, how good they are. If you have a lot of success with them, you should keep doing it. But else I would also recommend maybe to take some play shadow more, especially if you have a teammate close to you or like play... If you play balcony, maybe try to stay on this uh, angle with the small gap if you get good at this or even hide and let them walk out. One thing you can also do is go close ramp and when you molo here, instead of just nading, you can nade deep and then bounce flash as well and peek behind it. 
this way if they are close ramp you will likely get a kill because he have to turn and then if he's not there you can decide to jiggle with the smoke here or just smoke rainbow if you want to give time and then go here and hold palace on this uh, box angle unlucky you will have that next time nothing bad than that You are the grenade master. I like that you're the support player. It's really nice. That nice shot. It's nice to unlucky. So here you, when you get the two kills, you need to make sure like to get a better position or be faster in your reaction time. So this could be, for example, to go here, do the bounce smoke that goes into window. Go learn it. It's pretty easy if you check it out. Um, then you could have smoked window and you guys only needed to hold long. Or you could like get close and just smoke window. Just to be faster to take a decision about what you want to do. Smoke top mid and window. YOLO shot. Nice shot. It's not too bad. You're confident in your deagle, huh? I missed window smoke. This is pretty brutal. There are so many ways to die here. Because of missed smokes and so on. <clears throat> here you can also like when you have a bad gun you can smoke top connector by bouncing the smoke on this pillar that you see right here then it will land top con and then you can also bounce a molo right on this wall right here so the molo lands here and this way you are eliminating a lot of angles that you cannot die from and you can focus this box or like this area completely and it will make it a lot harder for the CT to kill you rather than here you kind of just give a fight with a MAC-10 against a, a M4 which will favor him anytime there you could also ask for a flash from a teammate to con luckily you guys won the round nice you are clearing the angles pretty good here and against pistols it's not necessary that you need to smoke and molo obviously it can also be good to clear the angles this way but uh, yeah sometimes it's also just good to peek it and I think you cleared the angles pretty good there peeking right side it's a bit risky like there's a lot of angles to die from here but obviously I don't know exactly how opponents are in level 4 but and obviously YOLO plays can also play, pay off, but there was a lot of angles to die from here. Unlucky. Obviously getting afraid of the rotation there, but... Yeah. Full YOLO. It's also unlucky that the AVP comes and peak ramp the exact round. But one thing you can do is get someone to do lamp flash. So when you're running here, you just get the flash and then anyone close here or here will get blind. And you have a higher chance of winning this duel. Okay, next weapon round. Nice shot. That's pretty damn nice. Ooh, there's one guy hiding car. Unlucky. I think in this situation, like, obviously it was a really nice first kill and you were looking short, which is normal, right? The rotation player should come from short first. Once you don't see anyone short, you have to be a bit aware of car or like even under window 
uh, pretty fast. But sometimes it's also just unlucky. You're sneaking mid. Your teammates made some noise on A. Nice. Like, honestly, your aim is really, really actually pretty good. I would say your... Again, really nice. Let's see how you play this situation. Two with two, your teammate is coming B. I think it's pretty good, but I think... Okay. Damn, ICS. What a round. Your aim is crisp. I gotta say, your aim is pretty good. And I'm surprised that you are... Is this all level 5 uh, that have an aim like this or what? What is going on? Get wrecked by a rush with a flash there, unlucky. Let's move to next round. Mock top mid. Remember guys, if you haven't if you haven't learned the fast window smokes, make sure to check them out. They are up right up here. It takes five minutes and you will learn nine fast smokes to window and it will help your team insanely a lot because you will get much easier control of everything. So go make sure to watch that and learn them. Also you ICS. Nice shot. Your aim is on point, I gotta tell you. Smoke top mid again, so I guess no one of your teammates or any of you knows the fast window smoke, so that's definitely one really important thing, because then you can take control much faster. And I also have to say, I just made a video about uh, fast or mid control in general, and there's a link as well up here. And this will make it so much easier, even in Pox, to have an understanding of what you need to do. Because it's pretty clear in this video until now that, you know, it's just a smoke top mid, peak short, run short, peak con, you know. And you just need to make very few things with your utility and then it will become much easier for you and your team. And I guess this is a, a lot of uh, people on this level is probably having this uh, mistakes that... You are not sure where to throw your utility or what to do. So if you watch that video, you will really learn a lot of how to do it in mid. Combine that with the window smokes, then you really are far ahead of this level already. And sometimes maybe just focus on one map at a time. So for example, if you want to get good on Mirage, go watch those two videos, but also maybe watch some other videos on Mirage and study a bit all you need to do is basically use maybe 30 minutes uh, on some of my videos for example and you will already learn really so much and get so much better because i can see here that you clearly have the aim to be much better than this level so just put a bit more effort and and it will be a lot better already So here I would probably like smoke window or get a teammate to smoke window and then I would smoke top con so you get control. Here you also smoke top con which is pretty good. Just a little step on it so it gets a bit further because then you can also walk up in the stair smoke. Here they will be able to see you go up so just a little bit deeper with the smoke. Nice shot. Your aim is crisp. Your aim is pretty good. Is this all level 5 with this aim? Nice. Well played in this round. Again, kinda the same, like peeking right side of the smoke. And there's a lot of risk revolved with, with this, this, you know, like AVP can jump short and hold short. They can uh, hold short from window, which is like what people always did before because the enemies would always smoke window, right? Or uh, not always smoke window, so you were just holding left side and if someone peeked. But now there's literally smoke, at least on a good level, there's always smoke window, so you would never 
to get kills on this but it's pretty risky move in general without any smoke and at this point obviously you die from short but just if you look here you can die from short you can die from window you can die from connector and you can die from fire right so that's so many positions you can die from and uh, this obviously makes it super hard to be like to have success with this so i actually think like your aim is pretty crisp i gotta say like i think it's really good the main thing to work on is utility your positioning and understanding of uh what to do in the situations and also to react faster in when stuff is happening like you saw this thing where on A you were not sure what to do on the CT side. Sometimes you just need to take a faster decision, trust the decision and do it. This is also a thing that happens for pros, you know, that they are doubting their decision and then they don't do it. So I think that's the key elements for you to improve on. But I gotta say, I'm really surprised with your aim. I think your aim was really, really nice. So thumbs up for that. I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks for watching.